Considered the foremost jazz violinist of her time, violinist Regina Carter and her quartet are coming to the Providence for the first time as First Works presents a special concert at RISD. And here to tell us all about the upcoming show this weekend is Regina herself, along with Peter Pramonti, Managing Director of First Works. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Nice to have you here today. Thanks, Thanks so much. This is, uh, this is great stuff. First, we'll start with you. Tell us about First Works and, and everything that uh, involves that. Well, First Works is celebrating our 10th anniversary season this year and we're really excited uh, to have Regina here of course but kicking off um, our season began with our Urban Carnivale, a free public uh, performance uh, filled downtown Providence with artists from Australia, Italy and right here in Rhode Island and continuing across our season the series at the Vets and culminating with the First Works Festival in June. So First Works is about bringing extraordinary artists who are in times reinterpreting their disciplines for our audiences and connecting them in schools across Rhode Island as well as for public performances with our audiences. Um, you're putting together a schedule all the time to, uh, of the arts itself. So what is it like when you get a call and say, hey, uh, Regina's in? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we often, it's, it's uh, oftentimes a lot of going back and forth about schedules. You, yeah. you know, that's one of the most challenging things, I think, in all of our workday worlds, tying things together with schedules. But really finding the right time in the right place. And, and because of Regina's new album, this was a really wonderful moment. We've been, uh, our artistic director, Kathleen Pletcher, has been watching uh, Regina's career and just really finding that this was the right time um, and the opportunity availed itself. So we're thrilled to have her here and, and sharing her artistry and, and her work in our community. And Regina, for you you, when you uh, get out there to perform, how long have you you've been playing the violin for a long I've been, time? Since I was four years old. Did, yes. did it come? Did it come easy to? Because I would imagine I see we'll see people play the violin, and you're like, man, they, they just have the that way of doing it, and it looks easy, but I'm sure it's not that easy. Well, nothing's easy that we do. We have to whatever it is that you do, you have to put a lot of work into it. But I starting at such a young age, it made it more simple, I think, than starting at an older age mm -hmm. because children soak things up like sponges, and I learned a method called the Suzuki method where you learn to play by ear the same way we learn to uh, to speak a language right. by imitating and like I said we're such sponges then so you can hear and play back almost anything and it makes it uh, easier to play and it's fun as long as I think something's fun the way it's taught and the child can connect and there it's you easy. Are. There's video of you playing right there. <laughs> now a lot of a lot of people when they play the violin they'll go the classical route and play classical right. music why did you choose vi uh, choose jazz? Well, I started with European classical music uh, when I was four, all the way through college. And uh, a friend of mine brought in three recordings of jazz violinists, and I had never heard jazz on violin before. And I was blown away by this music. And seeing live concerts of Jean-Luc Ponty and Stefan Grappelli and Noel Pointer, there's nothing like a live concert and just feeling the musician's energy. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is what I want to do. OK, all right, we're going to embarrass you a little bit. O Magazine, not bad, has described you as, quote, knockout violinist who leads a knockout band. Wow. Is that a wow? <laughs> That's a big wow. That's a big wow. <laughs> yeah. Do you get excited when you hear stuff like that? I get excited. I was just excited to be in O Magazine. <laughs> It's you and Oprah. Yeah, you know? Um, but I don't really concentrate on that. I love what I do. I love playing right. music, and I love being on stage, and I love working with young musicians or young students and uh, cultivating new audiences or future audiences. So I just really concentrate on being the best that I can be and trying to reach others with my music right. and uh, hopefully giving them some joy. Well, that is good stuff. Thank you folks so much for being here uh, and, uh, and being here with us to tell us about the event. And if you want to enjoy some smooth jazz sounds of Regina Carter and her quartet this weekend, you can head over to the Roadshow page at WPRI.com for more event details.